well, what's up, y'all? I'm here to give you an update on the Allstate. Um, a couple things have changed. There is a, a new piece of uh, thing over here. Do you see it? The cardboard? We'll discuss that in a segment that I would like to call Me Interviewing Inanimate Objects Masterpiece Theater 3000. <music> Well, I'd like to give you an update. Um, I've got about a few hundred miles. I did a you know a few tanks ish of gas, three quarters of a tank of gas, and it's really starting to come into its own. Um, yeah, it's starting to run really good. My initial my initial uh, review on it so far, I guess we'll call it my impressions, if you will, are actually pretty positive. I you have to look at this bike in what it is as a completely utilitarian motorcycle and this is the first time i've owned something that was built with utilitarian things solely in mind and um because yeah you know and i'm sure you'll read this online a bunch i don't need to tell you this but there's nothing about this that is you know quick but it's fine it does you know 55 um, I took a trip around the wineries and, you know, I, I maintained 55 the whole time, um, up hills. It's really strange for a two stroke. Um, and talking to some people who have been around these bikes a lot, having that big torque curve is really crazy. Um, you know, it's, it's all low end with this bike and, uh, you get to a certain point where it just kind of doesn't you know it doesn't matter you know you can keep gas and it's just run out of air it's used it all up real early which is and i'm not going to say i have a ton of experience with two strokes but i'm used to them having that big power band you know three four thousand rpms up there and this is just all down low it just starts right from the start and then just you can feel it just fall off um so that's really strange um the oil injection works great um what I what you do is what I did was I filled the tank up first I drained it completely for a couple of days by disconnecting the hose at the bottom filled it up went through a whole tank of gas um, and by that I, I mean I put in um, one and one little over one gallon my, my little gas tank when it has the line it's a little over one gallon put that in there and ran it till the reserve came on and then I put that exact amount of gas in there, drained the oil, and saw how much I used. And it seems to be right where it needs to be. Um, so that's kind of cool that that works because that takes away the premix pretty well. Um, and it looks like I can get about a little over two tanks of gas before I have to refill the oil, which is kind of cool, before it gets to that low line on the bottom of the stick there. Um, so that kind of makes it a little more useful, again, leading more towards the utilitarian style of this bike. Um, all the, uh, the fa uh, not fabric, uh, paper gaskets seem to work pretty well, actually. Um, I tried to put some copper ones on the, the fuel line to see if it works any better, and they actually work worse. Um, because I just have a shit ton of the copper ones and I didn't want to have to stock a bunch of uh, paper ones as well just for one bike, but here we are, I bought one. Big case of them for barely money, um, it's fine. Um, adjusting the clutch is real easy. Um, everything, I mean, it really does. It really is, you know, pretty pleasant to ride. And I'm used to everything being a little more, I don't know, have a little more I don't want to say personality because this has personality. It's just something that makes you want to go, you know, once makes you want to push it. And this has none of that. This, this, uh, you don't, it, it's not asking for more. So it, you know, it, it, you're not really wanting to give it more, um, which is the opposite of what I usually ride, but oddly 
kind of nice. I, uh, I find myself writing it, you know, and enjoying the fact that I don't, I, it's, uh, I don't know. I read an article online that talked about it kind of being like Zenish, and I kind of get that because it, my very first, um, street, not quite street bike, but road fairing bike, it was, a. Uh, uh, Honda Enduro uh, 1979 185 and this feels a lot like that except for I think that one might have been a little faster um, this one had a little higher top speed because the gearing but um, the 185 definitely was a uh, you know had a more of a sport to it but this feels a lot like that it, it you know it just kind of brings you back to that the excitement you got from riding your first motorcycle uh, and uh, so I do kind of enjoy it, and it's a great. Uh, it warms up real quick. You know, you you choke. You have the choke on. You start it. You shut it off, and then uh, you, you you take it off immediately, and then you just give it a, a. You know, by the time you get your helmet and your gloves on, it's ready to go. So it makes it really easy to run errands with. Um, it, I don't know. It's it's actually really fun to ride for what it is. It's kind of like. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like having a, uh, I get maybe this bad example, but like a minivan. Like if you try, if you try to push that minivan far, you're just going fast. You know, you're just trying to make a race car out of a minivan, and that's that's not very fun. But if you if you use the minivan for what it's for, you can have a really good time. You know, fill it full of plywood or kids or whatever the hell you know you do with it. And if you use it for what it's for, you have a good time, and that's the way this is. If you if you know, I have the faster bikes if I want to go faster but you can just kind of plug along with this and it works real well um, the charging system works great um, you know I got the the pump up there but yeah so the bad is you know and I, I have no idea how long this sat um, you know who knows by the time I've got this so the weird part well the thing that happens to anything that sits for a while and then you start driving it seals gaskets right so that's what's going on here getting some wet up here we're getting uh, a lot coming out of the seal for the um the drive the drive uh the drive sprocket up here not sure the exact term um, but that seal um is is uh, starting to pour out um gas there or i mean oil and then on the other side, the drain plug, it wasn't the original drain plug and I didn't like it. I, it you could tell someone just kind of forced a, a bolt in there and just kind of threaded it on the go. It didn't quite hold right. Well, I, you know, I have my torque wrench set at eight pounds. We didn't even get close. It just kind of spun it. So I ended up tapping it and then putting in a, a three eighths. Um, so we did that. So now it's, you know, the drain plug's a little bigger. What I mean, literally, you know, who cares? And then, um, but I did buy some pretty cool parts. So talking to uh, Motor West, excuse me, talking to Motor West in, uh, I always forget, I wanna, always want to say Michigan, but I think it's Milwaukee. Um, he was talking about putting uh, a 16th tooth sprocket on there to get it to that top speed and out here um, in California I'm, I'm originally from Wyoming so um, you know out here in California if whatever the speed limit is you double it or not double it you add 20 so if it's 55 you know you have you need everybody's doing 75 so if you're doing 55 and a 55, especially on a small bike, you're gonna get killed out there. So I need to get this thing to 65 so I can take it on a little bit longer adventures. So I bought the 16 tooth sprocket, I bought the tool to remove it, and I got us a new chain. Um, so we'll see what that does. It's real hilly out here in San Diego, so I'm, I'm kind of worried about it, but I didn't have any problems climbing the hills and uh, Motor West seems to uh, say that, you know, because the way the torque is on this, that you should be fine. And he said there's people at the 17 tooth that have no problem climbing hills. So 
I'm going to give it a whirl. Um, it's not like I'm throwing the 15 away. If I hit it, I'll put it back on. That's why I bought the new chain so I wouldn't have to, you know, fart around with it. Um, also, the grips are real thin, you know, so I bought some foam pads just to thicken those up a bit. Um, other than that, um, yeah, so I've just been riding it every day. And um, look out for the, this video is going to be the update. And then I'm going to make some um, of me fixing this. I don't think I'll do it tonight because I'm a little tired. But uh, yeah, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I bought this right now. I'm, I'm having fun with it. And like I said, I'm just not um, trying, I'm not trying to make it something it's not, except for I totally am now, you know, which is kind of a, goes against everything I said, but literally it's for safety. I, you just, you can't do 55 out here, you get murdered. So, um, cause that's what it is. Um, so yeah, um, peace out, I guess.